time for another little video. Uh, I'm driving up for another wedding this weekend. Uh, this is, I was just listening to the radio and I was listening to Sean Hannity sit there and defend Donald Trump for not, um, not setting the record straight on the one person that asked him a question that he wanted to uh, get rid of all the Muslims and, and was, uh, you know, the, and the guy said that the president was a Muslim. Now, let me, let me give you this from my perspective. He's sitting there. Sean Hannity said that it's not Donald Trump's job. Well, let me tell you something. I just got, I was just in the Tea Party group on Facebook, and I'm in there a lot, and I talk a lot. I'll explain who I am. I'm a photographer and a videographer. I make photos and videos, mostly weddings. I've shot a lot of Muslim weddings. Muslim weddings. I've walked into mosques. I've taken my shoes off and go into mosques. I res respect their religion. I go into synagogues. I go into Jewish weddings and respect their views, respect their ideas. I'll put the, I'll put the thing on my hand. I'll do whatever it is that they want me to do because that's, I'm respecting their religious beliefs. Because this is a country, we live in a country that's founded on religious freedom. That's not just religious freedom for only Christians. It's religious freedom in general. You can't, Okay, let me get back to this real quick. I've never, and let me say something real, real quick here. I've never had a single Muslim person insult me or be rude to me or say anything, treat me anything other than one of their guests, honestly. Occasionally they'll treat me like I'm just a photographer, but all wedding guests do that. I've been treated that way by all. I mean, it's not a big deal, and that's what, that's my job. I'm there as their wedding photographer. But, I've been to some of them where they've actually gone out and gotten me the food and brought it to me at a Muslim wedding. Oh, do you want something? I'll go get what you want. And they come back with a plate. It happens at Indian weddings a lot, Muslim weddings. It happens at some American weddings too. They ask me, did you get something to eat? It happens at all the weddings. People in general are the same. They're the same. No matter what we're, I mean, I haven't been treated any differently at any other wedding or event. That's number one. So. Number two is, who cares even if the president was a Muslim? Not that he is, but is it a crime to be a Muslim? It's not. It's not a crime. There's no crime against it. He doesn't have to be. But regardless of that fact, most of the people in the Tea Party that are for Trump, that are pro-Trump supporters, are against Muslims. They're against them. They think... They actually believe that we should kick all Muslims out of the country on a on a standpoint that they want to they they're not, have no problem they have no problem taking out an entire group of people based on their religious beliefs. Now you know what other countries do stuff like that? Uh, Muslim countries. They're the ones that don't allow Christians. They don't. They want to kick all of a different religion out. You know who else did that? Hitler. That's they, they didn't like Jews. Wanted to kick them all out or kill them. So when you get to the point where you're wanting to kick out people for their religious beliefs, it's not a it's not a good thing. And let me tell you something. Sean Hannity said that Trump. Uh, it's not his job to stand up for the Muslims. You're right. He's right. It's not his job. But why don't you ask Trump this? Trump, do you think? that Muslims should be kicked out. Because most of his followers believe that. Most of the people that follow Donald Trump, most of them believe that Muslims should be kicked out of this country. That we should kick out all, they want to kick out all Mexicans, all, all brown people, just get rid of brown people. Black people, they can, they're okay, they can deal with them as long as they're not collecting any type of benefits. But any, any brown people, they want them gone. They want them kicked out of the country. So, which is just freaking pathetic. Well, you, 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 it's, it's a country that's free. We're, we're about freedom. We're supposed to accept other people, not kick them out. Whatever. You know, and, okay. The next question somebody asked, they should honestly ask Donald Trump, does he think the president is a Muslim? And should we kick all Muslims out of this country? That should be a direct question to Donald Trump. Make him answer that because all his fans seem to think that he should. So let's see what happens when all his supporters think it. I mean, 
I mean, 99.9% of her supporters attacked me for saying that, attacked me. They called me names and everything for saying, hey, I never was abused by Muslims. I actually was treated like family. I know a lot of them. I've been, in, I've been surrounded by hundreds of them. They said, well, when they're, when, when you're the minority around them, they act differently. Really? I've been the minority standing amongst hundreds of them and never had one of them ever. And I'm a Christian and I never had one of them say, are you a Christian? You're not a Muslim? You know, and even treat me unusual. Even when they found out that I was a Christian, oh, he's a Christian, okay, they don't care. I was never treated any differently. So that's my two cents.